KHOU 11 News at 10. A warning from a local grandmother tonight after she says her granddaughter nearly died at McDonald's. It happened in the children's play area. Rux Russell has a story you'll see only on KHOU 11 News. These are happy times for a three-year-old girl named Piper, far removed. It shakes me up. It really shakes me up. From the moment her grandmother... That's something that will always stay with you. ...may never forget. I could have lost her that day. That day happened last July at this McDonald's play place in Katy. Piper was playing at this gaming station when something went wrong. We jump up, we run, go over there, and she's hanging. Her little toes are dangling. She's the color of burgundy. Um, she can't talk. That's because of what was wrapped around her neck, a black controller cord which Roy says was dangling from one of the station's arms. When we tried to get her out, the more we would move her, the tighter the cord seemed to get. Within moments, she says a worker handed a pair of scissors to one of the customers who managed to cut the cord from around Piper's neck. After Piper was freed, Royce expected the McDonald's employees to pick up the phone and dial 911. But she claims they never did and simply went back to work without ever showing any concern for how Piper was doing. So Royce drove her to the hospital herself. Doctors treated her for the gashes around her neck, but the emotional scars could cut deeper. You go to a place like this and your last thought is that something like this can happen. An attorney has filed a lawsuit seeking damages. It's their responsibility, it's their duty, they're providing the, the play area. They need to take the affirmative steps to make sure that it's going to be a safe place and a safe environment for the kids. In this case, that didn't happen. And what did turned a play date into a terrible day. I want them to make sure these are safe. In Katy, Rux Russell, KHOU 11 News. Just about an hour ago, we did hear from McDonald's. They say they are aware of the incident and that it is under investigation, but the company is not making any further statements. Someone is targeting local pet owners. With